Wayward Gypsy, also known as Heather, back again. Um, I thought that I would do a quick unboxing of Sparkle Queen Creations as my first unboxing because after watching Mrs. Coffee's video, I was just blown away. It's Mitzi's artwork on the website. I am not big on figural diamond paintings, so all of the faces and the ladies and stuff coming out, I was so excited to see that Sparkle Queen Creations had abstract artwork. And so this piece is absolutely gorgeous. It's called Bubblegum and Sprinkles. And I am just so excited to see this canvas and to see the other goodies that I bought. So let's pop this open. I took the plastic off the outside because I didn't want everybody to have to listen to that. But you get to watch me pop this open. It comes in this incredibly hefty cardboard tube. You can see how thick that is. It is so protected, I love it. And oh, holographic bags. I love hollow bags. Oh, this is so nice. Okay, so this is some of the washi tape that I bought. Sorry about the crinkling. These plastic bags are always crinkly. So this first one is a pale blue with silver stars and white stars. So pretty. And then this other one is holographic. Ah, let's see if I can actually make it do what it's supposed to. I'm so bad at this. See the holographic stars there? It's so pretty. I love this. I don't know if I can use this. It's so pretty. And then I decided I really needed one of the her mood stone color cover minders. It was black when I took it out of the bag, but my hands are very, very warm. You can see how it changed color already, that pretty blue-green. So I'm excited to see what it does. Ooh, I'm just making it more blue as we go. I'll leave it sitting here for just a second, and we'll see if it gets darker. Ooh, another hollow bag. This is the kit. Oh my goodness, so pretty. Okay, so I also ordered, uh, because I really like the white wax, she had the white wax available and she puts this fantastic sticker on there, the diamond stickers. So I got three plates of that. Two of them I ordered separately and so I got two of the purple and blue diamonds and one yellow and green. They're so pretty. I'm going to have to see if this is actually a sticker I can take off and use elsewhere because I'm going to use this elsewhere. So there's the wax these lovely, what is this called, anodized um, tweezers. They are the tweezers of doom. Oh, no, they're not. They're the rounded end. Oh, I'm so excited. I gave my mom my pink tweezers from TSA, so I'm super excited about this. And they're branded. Look at that hollow. Yes. I am addicted to all things sparkle and all things rainbow, so I'm really excited about this pen. She filled this with rainbow of drills. How pretty. And it comes with one of the larger placers. I think this is a, does this have a number on it? Nope. This is a, one of the bigger placers. It's not the thin placer, but it's a, a larger one. I think this is a nine maybe or a 10 and it fits in there perfectly even with the drills. So pretty. And then just the basic white boat. So, oh my goodness. All right. Look at the drills. We're going to look at this here in just a moment. Let me pull the canvas out. I'm so bad at this. Okay. There we go. This is definitely going to get reused even after I finish this painting and put it on my wall because this is an amazing tube. It's great for keeping other diamond paintings and other things. Okay, let's check the back of the canvas first. It came in absolutely pristine condition. This actually, to me, looks a little bit more like actual artist canvas. Like it has an actual fabric feel. It's not plasticky at all, which I really appreciate. A lot of the... Uh, other diamond paintings that I've got have that sort of 
plasticky feel. Like it's obviously woven canvas, but this doesn't feel, it's not brushed like the Diamond Art Club or like that, but these are really high canvas, high quality canvas. It's nice and thick. It is a double-sided adhesive. Uh, that's what this opaque cover shows. Um, if it were poured glue, it would be a clear cover. So we have to be extra careful when we take this off. But let's pull this back a little bit. I can already tell you guys that these symbols are just, they're so clear. I am not going to need any sort of light pad or extra bright light or magnifying glass to see these. Look at how beautiful that canvas is. It's a glare, of course, because of course, you see those beautiful clear symbols. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Okay, so I know it, ooh, it also has that, that fantastic smell that the double-sided adhesive has. I'm gonna go through my process of prepping this. You can see that the cover is bent a little bit from where it was rolled. That's not gonna hurt anything. The canvas is fine, but I'm gonna pull back the cover to about halfway and kind of um, smooth that out so that whenever I lay it down flat to work on it, because this is probably the next one I'm going to kit up um, that's taken care of and it, it won't be curled up like this anymore. All you have to do is pull it back and then smooth it out because this wasn't wrapped really tightly in the tube. So it does only have, yeah, the one key, but you can see it's here on the right side. Nice, big, clear symbols there. They're bigger than the symbols on the canvas, so you can really see them. There's the little schematic of what it looks like. So pretty, I love the colors. I love the fact that it's abstract. All right, so let me move this out of the way so that we can look at the drills. I'm just gonna put this beside me next to my sleeping pupper. He's in his bed over here. So let's take this out. We have the drills and you can see how beautifully they're packed in there. But she puts these by hand into rainbow order. I kid you not. You can tell that she does this with love. This is not some big company doing this. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Not just the amount of beautiful colors, all the pretty purples and pinks and blues, and but just the love that she put these in order with. You can tell. We'll look at those a little bit closer, but the little bags, those are great quality. So here is what the bubble gum and sprinkles looks like. And as you can see, it says it's a 60 by 40. I forgot to measure, I need to do that for you guys. But isn't that gorgeous? Oh my goodness, that's gonna go on my art room wall. I'm so excited. And you can see I got it in round. She has these in square or round, you can choose. And you can see that she has on here, it's, it's branded, gorgeous. Has the number, the, the actual color number on the canvas. There are 40 colors, as you can see down here. And, Y'all, there is not a single 310 in here. That makes me happy. I am not a fan of black. So you can see all the symbols very clearly. There's nothing here that I can see getting confused by. You know, if they're similar shapes, they're different colors. They do use P and R, which I've had trouble with in the past, but those are I think that those will be easy to tell the difference of, but you can see she has your instructions here. It's a full eight and a half by 10, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Uh, it has your DMC color number. It has the number of bags that she sent you and the number of drills that are required for the canvas. So you can actually sit down and do your inventory. I'm excited. I'm going to pull these out. Sorry about the crinkle. Oh. 
They already fell out of order. I'm a mess, y'all. You'll learn this. And I grew up in Oklahoma, so if I say y'all, it's completely not ironical. Anyway, so you can see these gorgeous drills, gorgeous colors, and they all have the DMC number on them. So even if you were to lose your inventory sheet, you would be able to keep these inventoried. I have a really large stash of various drills from other canvases and I love to keep them in DMC order. So these look like they're really great quality. So shiny. Oh yes, those are so pretty. Let's pick out a darker color so you can see. How about 791? Yeah, I don't see, I'm not seeing much in the way of trash there. I mean, the, the round drills tend to be just in general easier, but I'm not actually seeing any, oh, poor little diamond. He got smooshed in the process. Oh, and we have a hitchhiker. Mm, I don't even think that color is in here. That's funny, it's kind of like my skin tone. See that? All right, so I am gonna go through and I'm going to do the whole inventory on this and I will be right back. Okay, as you can see, we have all the drills are accounted for. These are absolutely stunning. I think probably my favorite colors so far are this absolutely gorgeous, bright, bright, bright pink. And I don't think I have ever have a, had a diamond painting before that used 973, but this is a gorgeous yellow. It's so vivid and saturated. I am all about bright colors. And that was one of the things that I knew with this painting I was going to absolutely adore is all of the bright colors. And not a single 310, like I said. So I cannot wait to get started on this. I have one diamond painting that I'm working on right now that's just a tree that's, I'm a little bit about halfway done. So it'll be pretty fast. It's a small one, it's just a snack size 30 by 40. So, oh, and this changed color. I'm afraid to touch it because it's gonna change color again. As you can see, it's orange now. I might actually use this on here. That or I'll use my actual rainbow cover minder. Anyway. Overall, I am going to say, oh, before I do that, I need to measure that canvas. I actually forgot to do that. So let me grab the canvas back up here and we'll just put it down on top of these before I let it go and we'll do glue to glue. So it's 60 by 40. So put that right on the edge. Okay, it reads right at 60, maybe a tiny bit under for the actual diamond painting. Uh, glue to glue, it's actually perfect, but goes over a little bit. Yeah, I would say probably about 59 and a half for the actual drill area there. So that's definitely close enough for me. And then the, this is supposed to be 40. If you went from the edge of the glue to the edge of the glue, it's actually almost 41. But going from the edge of the image, it's right at 40. So this, I would say that Spark Our Queen Creations, uh, Mitzi over there, she is doing a fantastic job and I cannot wait to get this kitted up and started on it. So I hope that this video sees you well. And if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see y'all later. Bye.